Developing this morning for the first time in more than 30 years, there will no longer be a daily train service from Indianapolis to Chicago. Today, Amtrak's Hoosier State Line is chiming its last call. News 8's Angelique Cockaday joins us from the Indianapolis Union Station, where the train is getting ready to depart for Chicago. Angelique, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Brenna. Well, let me tell you, it's quite the scene here downtown. People were lining up, and as you can see behind me, passengers are still boarding the train that's departing to Chicago here, train 851, for the last time. Now, train 850 will make its final run from Chicago to Indy tonight. It's all due to state lawmakers' decision not to include funding for the line in the new budget. Under a 2008 federal law, services like the Hoosier State require state sponsorship. Without funding, the Hoosier State can operate. The Hoosier State line began in 1980. Since then, the line has been suspended and reinstated several times. Today marks the first time since 1999 Indianapolis will be without daily Amtrak service to and from Chicago. You just heard that last all aboard uh, uh, marking here by the conductor. Today marks the first time. Uh, now, now Amtrak's card on the line will continue to run three days a week through central Indiana, and Amtrak says they plan to increase the number of buses. Still, advocates for the Hoosier State worry that without it, congestion on I-65 will increase, saying the train is an economical alternative to driving. Now, State Senator Ron Alting says they believe they will find a replacement in the fall, but they will first need the support of the governor. But for now, Brenna, I'll pass it back to you as the train departs here for the last time. Certainly a lot of emotions mixed up in that, Angelie. Thank you.